today marks 181 years since Te Tiriti o Waitangi, the Treaty of Waitangi, was signed here in New Zealand, which is such a significant um, day in our country. And so um, I'm so excited today to introduce our awesome guest, Dr. Alistair Rees. Um, he's a local man here in Tauranga Moana, uh, a farmer, right? <laughs> um, and he's really passionate about the, uh, our land and our people here in Aotearoa. Um, he's also a historian, he's studied history, theology and tikanga Māori and, and so I'm so excited for everybody to hear from you today, Alistair. So excited. So we've actually called our, our conversation today Tangata Whenua and Tangata Tiriti, a bicultural conversation about the history of Aotearoa and the Gospel. And so I thought a really good place to start would maybe be Alistair, if you can tell us a little bit about um, those two terms, Tangata Whenua and Tangata Tiriti. What do they mean? <laughs> oh, kia ora, Meren. Kia ora, uh, uh, ora koutou. Mm. Uh, <coughs> nori ki te atua, mā ngā ronga ki te whenua, whakara pai ki ngā tangata katoa. Mm. Ko rangi uru te maunga, ko kaituna te awa, ko Himalaya te waka. Ko watangi te kawanata, ko ihu karaiti te tangata me te atua, te hei mauri ora. So it's my greeting uh, to you all and wonderful to be here. Thank you for this opportunity to talk about uh, these really important yeah. um, issues that are before us at this time. Mm. So returning to your, your question around um, tangata tiriti and um, tangata whenua, what do mm. these two terms mean? The word uh, tangata whenua is probably quite well known mm. and literally it means people of the land and it really refers to uh, for us, it refers to Māori, mm. the people who first people the land, so we could call them the first people of the land. Mm. It refers to where Māori receive their identity from. Mm. So if they live in a particular location, mm. they draw uh, so much of their identity mm. from the whenua, uh, yeah. from the land on, mm. on which they dwell. It also d defines for them something of their Tūranga Waiwai, the place uh, where they can stand. Mm. So tangata whenua is, uh, it's an identity term. Yeah. Probably less well known as the term tangata tiriti. It's a term uh, that I love. Mm. And it was quite possibly coined by uh, Sir Eddie Jury, who was um, a High Court judge mm. and uh, from Ngāti Kahungungu. And in a speech that he made many years ago, he was speaking to his fellow uh, mm. tangata whenua and he said that we need to understand that Te Tiriti or Waitangi or the Treaty of Waitangi mm. is a treaty not only for Māori but it is also a treaty for tangata tiriti, hmm. the other people of the treaty. So literally it means the people of the treaty mm. and it's a term that's used in contrasting in juxtaposition to tangata whenua mm. and it means really it refers to and gives an identity to all non-Māori who dwell in mm. Aotearoa New Zealand who are here uh, legitimately and morally because mm. of the Treaty of Waitangi or the Tiriti of Waitangi. Yeah. Amazing. So just one other thing on yeah. that is it refers not only to Pākehā, mm -hmm. but it refers to all mm. non-Māori. Mm -hmm. uh, so that in a way it signifies the two uh, identities or the two people groups mm. within uh, the treaty. Awesome. Thank you. That's yeah. really amazing. <laughs> That, that little clip there is from our, um, an interview that I did with Alistair Rees for our online gathering this morning. So I'd love to invite you to check that out. It's much longer than that. But I really wanted to play that clip this morning because as we kind of embark on this conversation, I think it's really important that we know that it's for all of us. That, that it could be easy to be like, oh, this is for a certain group of people. But actually, as we talk this morning, let's remember that we're all part of the covenant of the treaty, that if we live here in Aotearoa, um, we are either tangata whenua or we're tangata tiriti. And, and this conversation is for all of us this morning. So um, let's do it. Um, <laughs> you know, I, 
I've had the privilege over the last few weeks to have the most beautiful conversations um, with all sorts of people from our community, including Dave and Mate here. Um, and it's been a really humbling, beautiful experience, actually. I, I've put my foot in it a few times. <laughs> um, and I've had these people beautifully, like, oh, actually, it's like this, and be like, oh. And so I just really want to encourage us this morning, let's come to this conversation with beautiful open hearts, with humble hearts, open hands, open ears, um, to hear what these guys have to say because it's really powerful. Um, it's, it's a line in the sand moment today and uh, I just, we're all part of this conversation so let's just come, come to it with beautiful open hearts. Can we do that? Yep. Awesome. So this is David and Matekino and I'm going to hand over to you guys to introduce themselves in the way of their cultural heritage. Kia ora. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Kia ora whanau. Ko Dave Takani, taku inga, ko te roa te tangata, ko mō tātua te waka, ko māua o te maunga, ko taranga te moana, ko tapu iti te whare tipuna, ko whakahinga te whare kai, ko naitirangi te iwi, ko naitukarangi te hapu, nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Mere ana pai te maunga Manga taipa te whenua Te aroha nui te whare e Titiro atu ki atu pauri Te awa re re nei, te au i te pō. Moi mai rā korokota, ko ngā tūpuna. Ko kore tangi te rā, ka heke e. Pūta noi te wāpū, o hoki anga e. Puta noi te wāpū, o hoki anga e. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. So I'd just like to start off with a prayer, as we could all bow our heads. The Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you so much. We thank you for sending your one and only Son to die for us on the cross. Lord, I lift everybody up in this community up, and I thank you that you have brought the broken back. You've brought the ones that have walked away back. And I ask that you rekindle that fire that once burned in them. Thank you, Father Lord. I thank you for this opportunity. And I thank you that this is a line in the sand. Thank you, Lord. E tō mātou mātou i te rangi, ki a tapu tō ingoa, ki a tai mai tō rangatira tanga, ki a mete tau e pai ai, ki rongi e te whenua, ki a riti anō ki tō te rangi, ho mai ki a mātou ai nei, He tarama mātou mō tēnei rā, muru o mātou hara, me mātou hoki e muru nei, e o te honga e hara anākia mātou, awa hoki mātou, e kauia kia whakawaia, e ngāri whakaorangia mātou e te kino, nau hoki te rangatiratanga, te kaha, me te kloria. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, Lord, but deliver us from the evil one. All the power, the glory and the kingdom be yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Kia ora. It's beautiful. All right. So I thought that this morning a cool place to start would be um, with this. Um, how does what you know about the history of Aotearoa influence the way you see faith? <laughs> so I'll share a little bit of um, knowledge on what I know. The missionaries in the 1800s arrived to Aotearoa. They came to share the gospel to the Māori people. God was calling our people. They say that there was revival of around 60,000 Māori people coming to know Christ, which was higher globally at that time. 
the beginning of God at work in and through our people, who were a spiritual people, te ao Māori. Now my grandfather, my great-great-great-grandfather, Hōhepa o Te Nepura, from Mangamuka, signed the Te Tiriti o Waitangi. This influences the way I see faith, by the way they came to faith, through the relationships of the missionaries. Te Tiriti signing to me was an agreement of trust, trust and belief in God himself, now, not many people know of the unwritten article in the treaty, which was the right to Christianity in Māori tanga as a partnership here in Aotearoa. Faith was discussed on the day of signing the treaty. This is what my tūpuna believed in. God was moving here in our people, and I believe we being a prophetic nation, and also God is moving here and now, raising up a new generation, a new generation of people in our nation, he is doing it again. Yeah. I encourage you, Fano, to learn the history of Aotearoa and the stories behind what our people went through and continue to have an understanding. Just like going back to history in the Bible, we understand the times we're in and how to move forward together. Start with this hapu and the people here in Taronga Moana. We are the today that they worried about yesterday. So let's be the hope for tomorrow, starting Amen. today. Amen. 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 So... Um I, I was blessed with the name David Awari Tikani, and that was from my father and my koro. Uh, my koro was Rawari Te Puhiraki Tikani. So he was blessed with that name um, by, by a chief by the name of Puhira, uh, Rawari Puhiraki. Now his, his uncle um, signed the Chiti Tiriti o Waitangi. He was a seven signatory in Tauranga. So, um, so um, Rauri Puhiraki was a, was a chief who led the army and led, and led in the war of Cape, the Cape Pa battle. Now, since learning this, I've also learned about what my ancestors actually went through, and it deeply saddens me. But I, but I have God, and I, I trust God, and I believe God is going to repair now, no, uh, now, my what is my influence? My knowing God's purpose hasn't yet fully been fulfilled in Aotearoa, and wanting my Maori brothers and sisters to know what Jesus did for us on the cross, and He forgave us for our sins. And I ask our brothers and sisters to now forgive, and let's move on together as one. Now, um. It says in Isaiah 58, 12, And your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of, of streets that dwell, dwell in, the restorer of streets we dwell in, to dwell in. So yes, people, um, we are all on a journey. We are all on a journey. Now, we were asked to speak I had this question was asked and I was really, really struggling. And we all know God always turns up. He always does. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. And um, so just yesterday, he revealed something to me that I could speak about now, and that's realising my lineage and how I've been blessed with my name, David Awiri Tukani, and I learned that yesterday. So um, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for uh, not leaving me and not abandoning me. Um, because I was really struggling, uh, yeah. it was about 2 o'clock yesterday. <laughs> How amazing is that? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I love mm. it. So could you guys tell us a little bit about, like, what was your first experience of the church like? <clears throat> so church for me was growing up on the marae. Um, as Fano, that's what we did. We celebrated, and with that, 
growing up in the Ratana church, my, um, my nanny was a afina, so that's what the women were as part of um, the Ratana church. And my uncles um, were apotros, which um, we were greatly graced to have them marry us here in this building here, which was, you know, and I must share that I, I see that as a testimony of unity, of churches coming together. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Um, so church for me was that growing up on the marae and being with my whanau and hearing God spoken, God's words spoken over us um, in te reo Māori. And there was a lot of waiata, a lot of kai, you know, that's what we do. We gather, we eat, we sing, we pray. You know, but that might like may look different to some people when you don't understand the language or the culture. God's expression of Himself through us, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, and my mum brought me up also in a Presbyterian church back in um, Tokoroa. So I got to see church with the community that I lived in. So what that showed me was church was community. It was people gathering together, but not just my whānau. It was people everywhere. Yeah. So I thank God that he taught me those things, and I thank my whānau for placing those seeds in my life from such an early age. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, so um, I, I guess a lot of Māori would have the same first experience as I did on a marae. And like I said, my, my koro, he was actually, when he was first born, he was groomed to be an apotoro, a ratana minister. So wherever he would go, my, my father would go, and then I would have to go, which is, which is good. <laughs> it's, just, it's because for me, you don't know what you don't know. And um, so we learned so much with the aunties and the uncles. And, and like Mate said, um, the, the kuri would come out and ring the bell. And it's like, come on, hurry up, it's church time. <laughs> so that was my first experience. And then because my, my koro was a very, very spiritual, very spiritual man, he would also take church home. But he lived, like my, where we lived in Manurua, in South Auckland, we were brought up. My, um, he lived in his own little living space. And um, he would play instruments and he was a painter. He's a very blessed man and I would hear him singing and I just happen to sneak in and you know as you do when you're little you're always, always curious and he'd be talking and praying and those for me were seeds that I, I we planted but I didn't know I didn't know God and then and then to where we are now and um, Mati would keep on asking me you know do you want to come to church and I was like nah <laughs> he's a laughing like he's a, not been me <laughs> <laughs> um, but she would keep on asking me with grace and try and drag me. But I would, my thing, my thing was, I have to respect my koro because I didn't know that there was just one God. I have to respect my koro, and so I, I kept on saying no. And then um, there was just a day. I think it was it was Easter, and she said, you know, of all times to come, most people would come in this time. So I said, are you all right? And I, I was like, <laughs> yeah. But it was, it, was, it was amazing because I actually, the first time I come here, I actually met a brother that I was doing life with when I was in the world. And he had been saved here. And um, yeah, so God was placing people around me for me to, be, to feel comfortable. And then just through that, through that journey, um, I, I, received, I received Jesus right where everyone's sitting now. He really touched me in a way, and we're actually saying the Lord's Prayer. And to here we are now, glorifying God on his platform. So um, my first experience was play, uh, seeds were planted, but now you know, God is the gardener, and he really has been at work in my life, and his grace has been amazing. And um, yeah, just all glory to God and what he's doing through us all, because we are, first and foremost, his children. Um, okay. Amazing. So, as a community of people, we're on a journey um, toward a healthier 
expression of biculturalism. Biculturalism is probably not my favourite word, but we'll figure out some more <laughs> video for that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, what is one area that you would love to see us grow in? For me, um, remembering what took place here in Aotearoa and connecting with the stories of our people. Let's consider how we can walk united in the same direction with all people, despite differences in culture. As followers of Jesus, even though we are each unique, we need to be united in the love and truth of God, because in the kingdom of God, we all belong. He iwi tahi tato, we are one people. I would love to see more of our language spoken. Waiata and karakia, just like today. Not just today, but every day. Not just on Sundays, every day of our lives. Like, let's be connected that way. When we leave here, out in the community, let's be who we are here together to those people out there. But let's not stop there. Let's be people of all cultures. I'd like to see us celebrate all cultures, whether it be Samoan, African, Indian, speaking, singing in all tongues, celebrating who we are as a people in the kingdom of God and in the family of God. Amen. Moving from a sense of belonging to the substance of belonging. Amen. Matthew 22, 37, Jesus said, the greatest commandment is this, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your strength. And second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. For me, it's no my haremai ki tō tātou wā kāinga. Welcome to your home, our home. For me, it says it all, our home. Now, we are all humans first, a blessing from God, but we are blessed differently. Maori, European, South African, African, Asian. I would love to see this happen more often, celebrating diversity in our community. And Jesus wasn't accepted in, in his own hometown. He wasn't accepted. But my brothers and sisters, you are all welcome. No my heart am I. Welcome home. For myself being blessed with the opportunity and feeling accepted by my brothers and sisters in Christ has really helped my growth. When I come to church, I don't see... I just see brothers and sisters. I don't see culture. I don't see anything. These are all my brothers and sisters. We're all on this journey together. Jesus walked on this earth and he didn't divide God's children. He brought the children together and that's how we want to be as a community people.